আসসালামু আলাইকুম হ্যালো ডিয়ার ভিউয়ার্স অ্যান ইন্টারন্যাশনাল রিলেশনস অ্যান্ড সিস্টেম অফ ইন্টারন্যাশনাল পলিটিক্স দেয়ার ইজ অ্যান আর কি দ্যাট নো সেন্ট্রাল অথরিটি আর দি ওয়ার্ল্ড গভর্নমেন্ট এক্সিস্ট উইচ ক্যান কন্ট্রোল অ্যাকশনস অ্যান্ড রিয়েকশনস অফ দি স্টেটস অ্যাকর্ডিং টু রিয়েলিস্ট স্কুল অফ থট অ্যান্ড ইন্টারন্যাশনাল রিলেশনস দেয়ার ইজ আনসারটেনটি অ্যান্ড দিস আনসারটেনটি গেভস রাইজ টু সো মেনি কনফ্লিক্টস অ্যান্ড ডিসপিউটস এমং দি স্টেটস সেলফ হেল্প সিস্টেম ইজ দেয়ার দ্যাট এভরি স্টেট ইজ রেসপন্সিবল ফর অল অফ ইটস অ্যাকশনস অ্যান্ড সিকিউরিটি সো সারভাইভল ইজ দি মেন এজেন্ডা অফ দি স্টেটস দেয়ার ইজ মিস পারসেপশন মিস কমিউনিকেশন অ্যান্ড সামটাইমস ইভেন হ্যাভিং নো কমিউনিকেশন স্টেটস দে আর ভেরি মাচ ডাউটফুল অ্যাবাউট ওয়ান অ্যানাদার্স ইন্টেনশনস সো এভরি স্টেট ওয়ান্টস to be stronger and to be secure in this uncertain international system so this anarchic nature of international system it gives rise to so many issues and one of the main issues among these is security dilemma we will talk about it but so far if you have not subscribed my this channel please do subscribe it press the bell icon that you people aware about my new video uploads and share the link of this channel with your contacts and friends dear viewers what is security dilemma because of this misperception when states they are doubtful about the intentions of each other when states they are distrustful with one another then states they want to be secure want to be stronger they want to build huge militaries and they want to secure its territory people and having sovereign nature so then other states also want to follow the same course of action that if one state want to be secure it develop its military either by its own means or having the formation of a military alliance or want to join any such alliance that to be strengthened in international politics then another state or maybe group of states want to have the same line i mean to have huge militaries or to build its militaries to form or join alliance or use any other kind of mean to be secure so then it is called security dilemma the term security dilemma was first coined by german scholar john h hers in his 1951 book political realism and political idealism the term was also described by british historian herbert uh, butterfield in his work history and human relations of course many scholars they have written about security dilemma and uh, most Uh, uh, dominantly the new realist scholars or the structural realist scholars like Kenneth Waltz, John Marshimer and Robert Jarvis they have written on security dilemma in a very deliberate way. So the arms race, the alliance formation, the alliance strategies all of these are the uh, various ways that states want to be secure and it is because of security dilemma so why states they have disputes with one another why states they have conflicts and states and leaders they want to go to, into war because of this security dilemma we have seen in the history of international politics that security dilemma was repeated again and again even in today's world security dilemma is there among the great powers among even the weak states and even among the neighbors so we experience security dilemma even on routine basis before the world war 1 there was also security dilemma and scholars they say that world war 1 happened and even the second world war also happened because of this security dilemma 
there were alliances and when there is a break or uh, when there is no fulfillment of commitment into alliance then of course there is disturbance and the exclusion of any state from an alliance it also disturbs the existence and capability of other states so it may uh, make other states weaker then there is possibility for another belligerent state a rival state that it will attack on the weaker states so the same thing was happened during world war 1 and also in the second world war arms race that is a glaring example of the security dilemma it was very much there in the cold war period especially between the united states and the soviet union half they were developing their not only their conventional weapons but also the nuclear arsenal then of course they also went to sign agreements with one another and to prevent world war or to secure the world from nuclear weapons it worked little bit but not completely not 100% so the arms race uh, between the two superpowers in the cold war period that was because of security dilemma the north atlantic treaty organization nato and the warsaw pact formation the two alliances in the cold war period that was also due to security dilemma the ensas treaty among australia new zealand and united states ceto south east asia treaty organization cento central treaty organization and so many other such kind of treaties even bilateral security arrangements and treaties uh, among the states all of these are examples of security dilemma that why states they want to have alliances with one another and they do sign such agreements this security dilemma has been explained by uh, new realist kenneth n walls he says uh, especially he stresses upon the defense surrealism and what is defense surrealism defense surrealism actually is that uh, uh, a state want to be secure and of course a state will not initiate war it will not go for preemptive uh, actions and uh, if a state develop itself especially militarily then it is the right of another state to be developed especially militarily so to preserve itself and a state's wishes to be strengthened in international anarchic structure then it is called the defensive side of realism or defensive realism on the other hand there is offensive realism another new realist scholar john marshimer he says that no because of this anarchic nature of international system then each state is not secure every state want to be secure because there is no guarantee from any side that a state will will be survived and it will maintain its security territory and sovereignty so every state want to build its military uh, that's why in such uncertain condition then of course uh, there is uh, even states they go to the offensive side of realism and sometimes even going into war so the main thing is security if a state is secure then there is no problem for having huge militaries or even going into war robert jarvis another new realist scholar he says that this arms race the arms competition and the alliance formation that is because of the security dilemma that security dilemma gives rise and gives birth to such tendencies among the states and international politics there are three types of security dilemmas and uh, states they go for deterrence what is deterrence the capability of a state to prevent 
the attack of the rival state or enemy state that is the deterrence the credibility the potential of a state to secure itself from the attack of another state the attack uh, of enemy that is the deterrence so there are three kinds of deterrence one that is the direct deterrence what is direct deterrence it is to prevent an armed attack of a state to preserve and to secure its own territory second type of deterrence is extended deterrence what is extended deterrence it is to prevent the armed attack of a state uh, not for itself but for the uh, to secure and to uh, to to protect the sovereignty and territory of another state maybe the the your alliance partner maybe the territory of uh, a friend's country so that is extended deterrence the third type is immediate deterrence and what is immediate deterrence that is to prevent the uh, attack an armed attack for a short period of time immediately that is the immediate deterrence so this deterrence concept was there between the us and the ussr in the cold war period and the same also is there here if you talk in south asia between india and pakistan arms race or arms competition not only in conventional weapons but also in nuclear arsenal between india and pakistan that is going on the missile firing between the two states that is going on so this security dilemma it also uh, motivates other states to do and to follow the same action as was done by a great power the proliferation of nuclear weapons that is also because of security dilemma united states tested its nuclear weapon ussr also did france did uk did then china tested it in 1964 then of course there was already a border war between india and china in 1962 so then india tested it in 1974 and especially in 1998 in may when India tested uh, its nuclear arsenal, then Pakistan responded it with the same manner that Pakistan also tested its nuclear nukes, its nuclear weapons. Uh, because of the ideological tensions and because of the rivalry and legacy of the Cold War, North Korea also followed the same course of action. North Korea developed its nuclear weapons. Although there were then six party talks how to defuse the tension between South Korea and North Korea and also between North Korea and United States. It worked little bit but not uh, forced North Korea to develop its nuclear weapons. So the development of conventional weapons, nuclear weapons, the arms race among the states, the alliance formation, the joining of alliances using coercive diplomacy the uh, threat of attack from another states all this is due to the security dilemma and main thing which is responsible for that that is the uh, anarchic nature of international system where realists new realists new classical realists all of them they have talked about in a very comprehensive and detailed way so dear viewers today it was about the security dilemma i hope you liked the video uh, will present my views on other topics of international relations international and national politics and also on current affairs please keep watching the channel and take care